This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Sunshine Shirley wants to know, did you ever feel like a typecast performer being mostly booked in factions like the Horseman, Dangerous Alliance, and Stud Stable? Yeah, I was honored to be a part of it because it was an all-star team of who was available. Right. And uh, when you look at the names and who they were and who they are in the business, what they'll be recognized in the next 20 years, it was it was a certain huge badge of courage and honor on my part to be part of those groups. John writes, I'd love to get Arn's thoughts on Fandango. When he first debuted on NXT as Johnny Curtis, he looked like a legit star, but on his first night on the main roster, they literally made him pour milk on him. It smells like someone didn't want him to get over. What does Arn think of Fandango? Well, imagine that. They didn't want him to get over, but they put him on their TV. Uh, I, I, to this day, he's a good friend of mine. He really is. He's a good guy. He's a great performer, you know, good physique. When that guy's in shape, he looks incredible and a good performer and a good person. And, you know, I remember the, the dance partner with Fandango that, just like it was yesterday. And it was, he even, you know, he's not a dancer. He had to learn on top of everything else he brought to the table. He had to learn how to dance enough to at least make it entertaining, which he did, which means he put the extra effort in. He had a dance partner, uh, the first young lady that they arrived on, not the first one to try out. We had a bunch of tryouts every week at TV for local dancers to come in. And they finally found one that really jailed and, and it was excellent. But her boyfriend got a smell of what was going on and looked around at all those, you know, uh, wolves at television, all the, all the talent that was sniffing around his girlfriend. And he made her quit. Smart move on his part. Don't know if they're still together, but if they are, he made a really smart move and uh got her out of there and they never did find anyone that clicked as well as she did after that talk to me a little bit about um baby faces and jim crockett greg says arn can you pick one baby face from jim crockett who you would have liked to have had as a tag team partner i assume that means you're going to convince a good guy to come over to the dark side because everybody knows you don't wear white hats chat me up though is there one baby face that you think could have made a hell of a partner for you? I bet you Ronnie Garvin could have been a, a pretty vicious heel. Don't you think? Oh yeah, for sure. Cause he was a vicious baby face. I mean, he pretty much beat the piss out of all of all the heels and stretched us. And, uh, he just had that, that nasty, I mean, you could feel like you had him completely under your control and he would just jump up and do a jumping head, but out of nowhere, cross your eyes and he's right back in the fight. Uh, he just had that style that would have lended itself to being a, a really nasty heel. And, and I would love to have learned from him, you know, in some, some long tag matches and watched him, you know, in his mind, go out and, and, and work as a heel. I think he would be a great partner. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.